Welcome back. My name is Azili, and in the previous video, I talked about what all the stuff was added with City Skylines Industries DLC on the little front page panel thing, and then I showed you how to use the new overlay that works very similar to Park Life. In this video today, we are going to discuss the buildings and lots that come with it. And I'm excited to show this off. If you're seeing this video and my channel for the very first time, I'd like to invite you to check out my stuff over on Twitch. On the 23rd, this game releases, the DLC releases. I'm doing a 12 hour stream with Imperial Jedi and Leader of the Monkeys. Tons of fun. Playing on the same map. It's going to be awesome. Love to see you there. Without further ado, let's jump in. So I went ahead and put every single building down. Now, for obvious reasons, I am using unlimited money. There is no city. We are just looking at these models. Now, what's really awesome is that if I do this... This is a farm, and it is massive. Now, this is made up of multiple little buildings, and medium buildings, and large buildings, but these are all the buildings just for farming. I know, right? Shocker. It's massive. It's pretty cool. So... You always start off with a main building. This would be a main building. It's a little cute little farmhouse. It gives you some information just as you would expect. Uh, it also is very loud. And I put it somewhere where I wouldn't forget. And look, I seem to have forgotten it. Aha. Uh, a bunkhouse or barracks, I guess. And then there's like a maintenance shed. Is this it? Yeah, the maintenance building. That would be where you take your tractors and all that good stuff. Oh, look, there's the model that we saw on the front page. Look, ah, look at that. Cool. So those are like the main buildings that you get when you place them by clicking this guy. You get these three little lots. Now, here's the really awesome part that I think is at least somewhat groundbreaking to me. <laughs> uh, you can toggle your appearance. Instead of spamming the lots to get the ones you want, you can toggle the appearance. Just straight up toggle it. I would like this to be oranges. Bam, done. Pears. In this case over here, it's a greenhouse. Now they come in small. This happens to be a small crop field. This happens to be a medium. And this happens to be a large. And I put, a, I put one of each down with one of each setting. For your animals, you get the same same option. Pigs, cows, highland cows, sheep. It doesn't look like I have any sheep yet. Is this sheep? No, that's, that's, that's pigs. It's cows. I have sheep somewhere. Cows, highland cows, sheep. We don't have any sheep yet. I didn't, I didn't run it. But needless to say, you could pick and choose what you'd like. If you'd like sheep, great. Then you have storage spaces. You get a small grain silo, a large grain silo, no cosmetics with this, which is fine. And you also get these little guys, your large barn and your small barn. And then come the bigger buildings, your mill for your flour your milking parlor. Uh, this is the slaughterhouse. 
I think this is just, uh, oh, this is the, uh, large, large fruit greenhouse. What do you mean not enough water? I watered you a long time ago. Shh. Don't tell anybody. There. Anyway. That is that. Really? They just want to use the restroom at the toll booths? We'll talk about these toll booths in just a second. But first, we're going to continue on our industry. You have forest. Forestry service. This time I clumped up all of the main buildings as soon as I can find them. Aha. Your forestry main building, your barracks, and then your maintenance building. And then the same like the farms. You have three different types in this case. You have your conifers, your alder, and your beech trees. And then you also have these small, medium, and large varieties. So this would be a large field, uh, large field. A medium field on this one. That's a medium. This would be small. So the small is a is a square. Medium starts to become a rectangle, and then large gets pretty massive with uh, a much larger square. And then you have your storage lots, which basically you know there's a, a sawdust storage. Your large log yard. Your small log yard and then you've got your your producers so your sawmill your pulp mill your biomass pellet plant your engineered wood plant and then your wood chip storage and then your i think that was it i th think what i'm thinking of is a factory Yeah, I'm thinking of a factory. So that would be forestry. Now we got oil, which, check this out. Nice little offshore oil rig there. That's pretty cool. Now the oil buildings... There's not, there's not too many. You don't have like the fancy toggle this to look like this option. But that doesn't mean that the workshop's not going to come up with more buildings that will function like this. But if you don't use the workshop to get, say, new industrial buildings and what, what nots and who's it's, you now have storage tanks that function, by the way. Tons of piping. Ugh, that industrial piping. Hello. I know a few people that are going to be excited. Complete with the uh, the hookups. It's pretty awesome. Imagine, uh, imagine what content, you know, what modelers are going to do. So you have your small, medium, and large storage tanks. You've got some maintenance stuff. Some storage of facilities. Uh, your oil drilling rigs, small. You got your one rig, you got your oil pump, a small rig, a large oil pump, a large drilling rig. Your crude oil storage cavern. Your sludge. More plants. Waste oil, um, main buildings, they're like office buildings. This is like a worker's barracks. Think of it as a hotel. <laughs> it should really be modeled as like a hotel, right? It should just be like, you need to slap like Bates Motel on it or something. Uh, and then the big maintenance building. Some cool little stuff. And then everything comes with a fence. I believe this repeats. This is the industrial fence. Although I think it this one is in particular 
a little more, I guess, has more grime or grudge or grungy, dingy. And this would be our mining, which has its own little fence, too. The little slats. And your mining is it's pretty much about the same as you would expect as far as oil, your basic stuff, your small mines, your medium, and your large. This thing is massive. It gets a huge crane, right? The scale of cities. That thing is massive. You also have your seafloor mining and then you have your processing plants you know rotary kiln fiberglass plant glass manufacturing plant your grinding mill your workers barracks the main building and then this is maintenance Man, we should repurpose these models. Those look great for, like, really shady hotels. <laughs> uh, and then you got your basic storage. You got your sand storage, your ore storage, your raw mineral storage, and then your larger ore, ore storage with the um, rooftop. This would be awesome for cities that have to store salt. Right? You could store salt for your your road treatment or like the uh, the synthetic stuff that you put on your roads for winter. So those are the industry parts. Let's talk about... Well, that's your production and industry. Let's talk about some other awesome things. So something that we now have in this game is warehousing, which if you've seen some of my detail cities, I have a ton of warehousing and now it's useful. I could store materials that my city produces and then actually have trucks move about as opposed to they randomly fake generate something out of them and now they'll grab finished goods that our factories will make, store them, and then send them on their way, which is awesome. So you have a handful. It's basically small, medium, and large. I believe this is a warehouse yard. And then small warehouse, medium warehouse, and large warehouse. And then again, they have the... They have these stored resources. I could say take paper. I could tell it to take glass. I could tell it to take flowers. And then I could tell this to take, if I could click it. planed timber perfect so now these guys will operate and they're gonna go pick up stuff and and deliver it and transfer it and do all that stuff although we'll probably have a big traffic jam I'm not gonna keep this city it's just for show and tell and now the fun stuff you have these nice unique factory buildings and I cannot wait to see what the modeling community does with these types of of buildings in the game. So this is our furniture factory, our bakery, our toy factory, our household plastics. Our massive steel plant. This looks phenomenal. Like mind blown. Imagine this in your city. It's massive. It's huge, right? It's taking up multiple city blocks. I cannot wait to see what you guys do with this stuff. I can't wait to get it into my own regular build. Lemonade factory because we need to supply the lemonade stands with lemonade, right? 
uh, the printing press after my own heart. Thank you, Colossal Order and Paradox. My degree is in printmaking and drawing. Uh, I think... I think that's it with these guys. Yeah, because your paper mill happens to be... There's your pulp mill. You had a paper mill somewhere. Sawdust storage, sawmill... I guess it would be pulp mill that would then get turned into the paper mill. I thought it was there. Maybe I am mistaken. Either way. You, you need this. You need your forestry to make your, your paper anyway. To do your printmaking. On to something that I... I'm going to enjoy seeing. These guys are your postal buildings. City post office. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. And then your sorting facility. This is so cool. Look at that. I wonder, I haven't seen anything spawn. I wonder if trucks like drive through. Like they drive through here and then, yeah. We'll see. When we get a large enough city, we'll see. So your post office and then your sorting facility. It's important to know that these guys get quite loud. So putting them near your residential may not be the best unless you could buffer it with some trees some toll plazas so you have what you would expect you have a fairly wide variety you have your two direction toll plaza your one direction toll plaza and then you have your large in that same variety, which is three lanes going each direction. Technically four, I guess. Four lanes. Your one one direction through here, which opens it wide up like that. That looks that's killer, right? That put that on your highway and collect some money. Cha ching. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something right quick. I'm gonna toss down this because apparently I either don't make enough power out of a nuclear power plant or I'm just getting getting a little bug that's okay there my hill veil series will get you a link to my mods and assets that I use that is the underground power asset that I use there that that'll stop bugging me so that's the post office, your toll plazas. And now your airports, your cargo airports, your small cargo airport, and then your large cargo airport. Heck yeah. Imagine this built next to your international terminal or your small airport terminal. And by the way, it comes with a train. Pull the train right in, offload from the plane, take it from the train to the other part of the city, which is way over here. Boom, you got your drop off and your pickup back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're thinking. When can I get my hands on it? October 23rd. That's like next week. I'm currently playing on a map that they include with this. It's called Wood Garden. I aptly named the city down here. Um, it does actually have trees, but I have a mod installed that removes those trees. It's called the Vanilla Tree Remover. Uh, I'm sure it looks pretty with the trees. But, uh, yeah. That's, that's it for the models that are in this game. Besides the people. I'll let you guys explore and find the people. But those are the buildings. If you want to see how to use these buildings, I've got another video that covers that. 
the video prior to this one in the Cities for Beginners and Veterans series. I'll have that linked down below. Until next time, my name is Azili. Thanks for watching. If this or any of the videos have been helpful for you, please like and subscribe and feel free to share. We love to meet new friends. Be good to each other. You can find me here on YouTube or over on Twitch. All the links are below the video. Have a good one.